He's not in? No, did you have an appointment? No, we didn't. No, we're just, uh, we're a little bit worried. You know there's elections coming up um, in Australia this year. Yeah. yeah. well, David Hicks and Mum to Habib uh, can both, can both uh, vote. Um, sorry, no, we just wanted to deliver uh, a ballot box for them because, uh, you know, it's actually compulsory to vote in Australia and we're worried that they might not be able to vote in Guantanamo Bay. You see what I'm getting at? Sort of. Yeah, yeah. Kinda. Well, we've, we've got a little ballot box here that sort of will fit in with the Guantanamo vibe, so they, you know, they feel comfortable with it. Um, that's their pictures, so you know who they are. Perhaps we can pass them on. Oh, I think I see them on the news. You know, yeah. Right? How about you take your cameras and you find somewhere else to film? There you go. G'day, not bad, mate. How are you? Who, we, who are you from? Uh, we're, we're from uh, a TV show called The Chaser Decides, um, and we just really, you know, hope that guys like this don't miss out on their opportunity to vote. I mean, oh, I losing their human rights is one thing, but their democratic rights is another. And um, the last thing they want after a couple of years in detention without charge would be to come home and get a fine. You know, it'd be terrible. Okay. So um, any chance we can we can pass on the ballot box? We've, we've rigged it Probably up. Probably so none, actually. Really? Yeah. Not a lot of assistance there. It's almost like the US don't care about fair elections. Yeah, but this is in Florida, and I wasn't going to leave it there. So I decided to take this issue right to the top. Thank you, Prime Minister. We're just trying to get some uh, postal voting for us for David Hicks and Mamdu Habib. I wonder if you can help just uh, deliver them to Camp X-Ray for us, because we don't want them to lose Hello, their democratic man. rights on Election Day. Right. Australia Post's having a few troubles, and the Americans aren't giving us much help. We don't want them to miss out on their democratic rights. Now, I know he didn't look too receptive there, but I think the message may have sunk in, because within just hours of me talking to the Prime Minister, the government announced that voting forms would indeed be sent to David Hicks and Mamdu Habib. All thanks to us. Yeah, yeah. Yes, read it and weep. And that news, unsurprisingly, was welcomed by the leader of the Greens, Bob Brown. Who I have to say is running a pretty tight mm. campaign, uh, certainly using the help of some high-caliber people like Merlin from Big Brother. Hey, Merlin, I found your E. Mate, you're always picking up the pieces. <laughs> e for end mandatory detention. Maybe now Amanda Vanscombe will get the message. I hope so. There you go, he <laughs> found Merlin's E. Maybe that's the E the Greens wanted to criminalise. <laughs> The Greens have got momentum. They're shaping up as a real threat to the Democrats as Australia's leading non-viable party. And I think you can put that down to their latest campaign ad, which really cuts to the heart of what the Greens are about. We can't fix the greenhouse gases. We can't fix the mess in Iraq. We can't make the refugees free again or stop mining in national parks. We can't stop plastic bags We can't protect Australia's borders We can't change the Constitution We can't even win a point of order But there is one thing we're good for Where we're successful to the hilt Vote for the Greens It'll reduce your middle-class guilt Vote for the Greens and reduce your middle class guilt. That feels good. Sold, sold, sold! It's a massive sellout! Peach gone completely mad and he's liquidating all his old beliefs! Old growth forest sold! Anti basis policy gone! Opposition to mandatory detention massively reduced. Yes, it's all got to go before he relocates to new premises. You won't believe the backroom deals at Pete's massive sellout. Because now he's a politician, these values simply cannot last. Tomorrow night on ABC, join us for an election countdown special capturing the mood of a nation on Indifference 2004. Featuring a panel of Australians from across the spectrum, all of whom couldn't give a toss. Well, what about uh, payroll tax? Any opinion on that at all? Oh, um, no, no opinion. Moderated by some guy who could really take it or leave it in front of a live studio audience that didn't even show up. That's the voice of real Australia on Indifference 2004. Uh, all right, well, look, I suppose we'd uh, better look at the worm then. <sighs> oh, God, even the worm's had enough. Tomorrow at 8.30 on AB... <sighs> Shit. Right across the country, you're watching The Chaser Decides, the only election program with a reporter embedded with the coalition. So we cross to him live now. Uh, Chaz, what's the latest you can tell us? 
Absolutely nothing at all, Craig, but I thought if we use this green night vision effect, it might at least look slightly interesting. Chelsea Chidello there, our embedded reporter. And he's not the only one uh, battling against what's been a fairly dull campaign at times. Uh, Shadow Finance spokesman Bob McMullen found Labor's tax policy so boring that he fell asleep while trying to explain it. Oh, well, that tax policy, I mean, that's been causing problems for Labor since day one. Uh, you'll remember poor old Jan McFarlane. She got herself cornered on talkback radio. It, it, it says, at least on the tables, that we're going to be at least um, $1,800 a year worth off. Well, so, that's why we're looking for where... So what can you say to her? ..where the disadvantage is and what we can do to, to adjust the policy. Now, that caller uh, turned out to be a member of the Liberal Party. And she's by no means the only stooge we've heard on Talkback Radio this election. They've been mm. rampant. Yeah, so just how easy is it for party stooges to get on radio? And just how good are the Talkback hosts at spotting them? To find out, we got embedded reporter Chaz Lichadella to call our nation's top broadcasters, each time reciting verbatim this Liberal Party campaign ad word for word. And first up, he got through to Talk King, John Laws. Morning, Tony. Hello, John. How are you? I'm OK, thank you. How are you? Not too bad. I just rang to say a word in defence of John Howard. I've been doing some reading, and it turns out that since being entrusted with the responsibility for rebuilding the Australian economy, the Howard government... Hey, listen, Tony, mate, I'm not that stupid. I'm just trying to defend John Howard. But when you sound like you're simply a Liberal Party stooge, don't treat me like an idiot. You're the idiot. You can't fool John Laws, and fair enough. I mean, what kind of credible broadcaster would let you get away with reading the whole ad? Well, there might be one. Tony, hello? G'day, Alan. Yeah. Hey, mate. I'm well. And I just want to say something in defence of John Howard, because I've had a gust of people attacking his record. Yeah. Did you know, since they were entrusted with the responsibility for building the Australian economy, the Howard government's not only delivered eight years of strong economic growth, but the lowest unemployment rate since 981, 1.3 million new jobs, apprenticeships have almost tripled to over 400,000, inflation has been halved, and interest rates have been reduced their lowest in over 30 years. I know. Oh, and like everyone's having a go at them, but I mean, as we all know, it's only by building an even stronger economy, by keeping inflation under control, by keeping interest rates low, that we're ever going to create more jobs, more apprenticeships, have more money to spend on roads, hospitals, and all those things fundamental to our way of life. And the company rate tax rate's been cut from 36% to 30%. Yeah, that's Real actually Real wages have well. gone up by nearly 14%. The small business overdraft interest rate has averaged 8.85%. It peaked yeah. at 20.5% yeah. under Labor. There's a 30% private health insurance rebate, which is a saving of 750 bucks a year to families with private health cover. You can go on and on and on, and you wonder what all this is about. I mean, John Howard is constantly criticised, vilified. Yeah, it makes a lot of people wonder, Tony, me included. <laughs> I think Alan was reading from his own script. It was like he'd finally found his soulmate in Shaz. They were trying to outstooge each other. Yes. <laughs> Objective and sharp as ever. Where was Alan Jones during the great debate? You're watching The Chaser of Signs, and we'll have more in a moment. Superanimation, I actually only learned the meaning of that word yesterday, so um, I think it's good. Hi, I'm Sophie Lee, and I'd like to tell you about one of Australia's most endangered species, the Australian Democrats. Once found so commonly that they were considered a pest, recent infighting and problems with their drinking supply has seen their habitat overrun by their natural predators. Their numbers have also dwindled through mating with other species. So please, if you care about one of our most fragile species, vote Democrat this election day. Your vote could save them from extinction. Welcome back to our preemptive coverage of election 2004.